Greetings, camera! Welcome to Spooky TikTok Night. Yeah, it's Halloween. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well now on second thought, I feel like that might not be the right tone. Let me try that again. It's Halloween. <laughs> Halloween? More like, hollow, we need to get on with this intro. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so what's up everyone? If you're a member of the Baker Bunch, which is what I call my audience on this channel, first off, oh my gosh, you look amazing. Have you been working out? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're glowing. No, but if you are familiar with this channel, I know you're used to me doing some rap skits and some comedy commentary, but today, I think I'm gonna be doing something a little different. You see, instead of wearing my chef's hat and cooking up some crispy shorts of content, mwah, today I'm gonna be wearing my witch's hat because much like a witch's powers, this video is cursed. You see, in the month of October, a plague of horrifying content spreads over all of social media, especially TikTok. We've got ghosts and serial killers and, and this. I don't know what that is, but I'll be darned if I'm not terrified. And I don't wanna have to go through this content alone. So I'm gonna bring you with me. We can be cursed together! Doesn't that sound fun? No? Oh, well, too bad. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay guys, so I found this conspiracy theory and it's gonna blow your minds. <laughs> Consensually. <sighs> Check it out. Things humans weren't meant to see. The famous Mona Lisa. Look what I found. Vladimir Putin is immortal. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Vladimir Putin is the Mona Lisa. Oh yeah. I bet you didn't see that coming. I love the idea of just Vladimir Putin posing romantically in front of Leonardo DiCaprio. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, no. I meant Leonardo da Vinci. Well, actually, who's to say that Leonardo DiCaprio's not immortal too, right? Hashtag Leonardo DiCaprio is Da Vinci. New conspiracy theory, all right? Keep that in your books. I actually did some digging on this conspiracy theory, and this theory has existed since like 2012. That's right, Vladdy, we're on to you, all right? I guess you could say we've been putting the clues together. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a dumb pun, and for the record, I'm sorry. Aww. Oh, not for the not for the pun, for the video we're about to watch. Again, I'm sorry. Can I touch you? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was, but Can I touch you? <laughs> Okay, I don't personally know what hell looks like, but I'm pretty sure this is the first guy you see when you get there. Okay, we're moving on, cause no, I'm not, I'm not entertaining that anymore. So this next video blew up on Twitter a while ago, and uh, we just have to watch it. <laughs> oh, that mother just locked her kid in the bathroom as a means to terrify the poor kid. <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> now me personally, I love when kids get pranked. Some might even say it's my favorite pastime. I think it's a fun way to have a little laugh, you know? I used to pull pranks on my little brother all the time. In fact, I still do to this day. Technoblade never dies, but you will. Yeah. See, but something seems particularly evil about trapping your kid in a room just to terrify him. Hey, well, at least little man got to throw in some punches. Now you'd think that other than you and me, there'd be people in the comments who like agree that this is a little messed up. Uh, nope, y you'd be wrong. How can he punch away a spirit? The weak punches. Who's bro fighting? Nah, these crack me up. Evil. You're all evil. <laughs> Dumb kid just keeps trying to throw punches. Dude, it's not real. What are you, underdeveloped and young? <laughs> Look at this idiot. <laughs> it's a child. I just, that, I don't know. To me, that that's wild. The only person I found who even seemed to care a little bit was Savannah V who says, that's so mean. So congratulations, Savannah. You win the not a terrible person award. Bring it in for Savannah, guys. You win by default. Uh, so I was scrolling on TikTok when I came across this video. So we're starting to get real sick of our house being haunted. Because everyday stuff keeps happening like this. Nope. And like this. Uh -oh. And it's getting real frustrating. Just last night when I was filming a TikTok, this happened. You see what's happening? It's not even plugged in. It's not plugged in. This started happening while we were filming. I'm sick of this. 
Like and follow for part seven. Wait, I'm sorry. Part seven? <laughs> I actually did some research on this guy, Robbie, and his wife, Penny, and I found out that they've made over 26 videos about their haunted house. We've had a ghost problem ever since we moved in. I went to the store and picked up the necessary supplies to build some makeshift crucifixes. We have a priest scheduled to come next Tuesday. And both times I tried doing online research, it felt like something was actively trying to stop- <laughs> Which is just way too many. Like if I was in a haunted house where things were moving where they weren't supposed to, drawers were opening and closing, I wouldn't make a single video. I wouldn't even make one. The only post I'd make is the post announcing that my house is for sale. Cause I don't know, I just probably would be terrified. I'd be just as scared as that kid who got stuck in the bathroom. But that's me because you know, haunted house for me equals scary, but not this guy, no. Uh, he just gets angrier. I am fed up with our house being haunted. And every time something happens, I just get angry. Which, if I'm being honest, the whole anger thing makes no sense. Hey man, you uh, ready to watch the game? Ugh. Look, I would, but there's this demon that lives in my house and it keeps changing the channel. W wait, I'm sorry, did you say there's a demon in your house? Yeah, a demon. And believe me, it is the worst. Up. <laughs> now they're messing with the lights. So this doesn't like scare you. <laughs> Scares me? I just get more angry. I just wish I could like take this thing and punch it in the face a thousand times. Okay. If I could just grab this ghost by the shoulders, I would just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, screw this ghost. Oh, I promise you, when I catch the thing that's been haunting my house, I'm gonna wring it by its little neck. You feel me? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's the spirit, man. <sighs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I just get so angry. Oh, no. I mean, that's the spirit right there. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, let's be honest. If you've made over 26 videos where, like, your house is haunted and there's, like, a ghost there, you don't have an intruding entity, like, taking over your house. At that point, you just have a ghost roommate. I mean, like, all the things they saw is just things a roommate would do. Opening and shutting doors, blowing out candles, changing the channel on TV. These are just things roommates do. You need to give that ghost a spare key. And because it's a ghost, make it a spooky key. A spooky key. Spooky key Palmer. Spooky key Dahmer? Wait. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god, god. What, what am, am I, I saying? saying? Uh, <laughs> anyway, speaking of Dahmer, wow, amazing transition there. I also wanted to talk about the Netflix show Dahmer because, oh my gosh. Dahmer is a Netflix series that pretty much retells the story of the serial killer, Jeffrey Dahmer. For those of you who don't know, first off, content warning. This monster drugged and killed his victims before Oh God, it's it's awful. It's really bad. Um, he's really bad. But doesn't that sound like a lovely show for all the victims' families to relive? What, you don't think so? When you don't care about the victims' families? <laughs> Netflix, that's dope. That's kind of that's kind of awesome of you guys to, to not care. Red flags all over the place. Just red flag, red flag, red flag. You guys are savages and that's hot. No, but it really does feel like the Netflix producers were just like, So I'm thinking three more seasons of Big Mouth, and uh, can we get one of those Stranger Things kids to cameo in it? Yeah, sure. Uh, which kid do you have in mind? Any one of them. I don't care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey guys, I don't know about this show Dahmer. Oh gosh. I don't know. It just seems wrong to rebroadcast such a horrible stain in humanity's timeline. <laughs> get a load of this guy. Yeah. Virtue signal much? I'm not trying to virtue signal. I, I just think that- Hey everyone, get a load of this guy. He doesn't want us to air the show Dahmer. <laughs> oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Guys, really? This is what we're doing? Uh, hey, listen. Don't you think a show like this is going to make for good entertainment? Okay, well sure. It might be entertaining to watch, but uh, see? It's going to make for a great show. Yeah, so stop being such a Dahmer queen. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did there? Like drama, but I said Dahmer. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Hey, hey, forget serial killer. This guy's a serial buzz killer, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Look at him. Look at his dumb little face. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Write that down. I was making a point about how it could affect the victim's family. Hey, the intern's funny. <laughs> All of you guys are insane. Dahmer? 
I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But yeah, that's the biggest criticism I have for the show at this moment. I personally think the show is really entertaining, but I don't think they were considering how the show would affect the victim's families. But wait, there's more. Some people took this show and went, absolutely wild. People are thirsting for Jeffrey Dahmer after Netflix show turns killer into sex symbol. Netflix's Dahmer series sparks disturbing TikTok trends. Women on TikTok are thirsting after Jeffrey Dahmer from Netflix's new series. What? what? So people saw this show about the real life events and actions of this monster and said, Oh, I know he did all of those horrible things, but he's just so dreamy. I almost didn't believe it for myself, but uh, watch this. Serious question. Is there something wrong with me because I high-key felt bad for Jeffrey Dahmer? Yes, yes, 100% yes. This video is brought to you by the word yes. A thousand times yes. A, a, a multitude of yeses. I need to know what the psychology is behind me finishing the series and going, I kind of feel sorry for him. I feel really sorry for him. Like, oh my God, I feel really sorry that you are that lonely. So a lot of people have been sympathizing with Jeffrey Dahmer because he was so lonely. He was just a lonely little guy, which almost makes sense. But while sympathizing with someone who's lonely would make sense, it doesn't really work if you're lonely because the people who get close to you die. Right? Like that doesn't make sense. Oh man, I don't have anyone to go fishing with me. I don't know what you expect, dude. Everyone who goes fishing with you mysteriously drowns, so. I know, I know, it's just that I just get so lonely. Oh, y you do? Yeah, and I, I just really feel misunderstood. Hey, look, man, I'll go fishing with you. <gasps> you will? That's nothing. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, really? Two hours later. <laughs> Soon, you're gonna be swimming with the fish. Any last words? <sighs> I knew it. I knew something about you seemed fishy. Oh yeah, well that's too bad, cause... Ah. Uh... See, don't feel sorry for people like that. They're, They're evil. evil. It's a little weird. I wanted to do this video like talking about ghosts and goblins, but when I found out about TikTok's Dahmer drama, Dahmer drama, if you will, uh, I don't know if that's a good joke to make. Is that even worth making? It doesn't matter. It kind of felt like it fit in perfectly with this theme. I guess the moral of the story is the only thing more frightening than scary stories is reality. Boom! <laughs> Real life sucks. No, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go back to making some musical skits, some of the shorts content you guys know and love, but I plan on making a lot more of these types of videos. I had a lot of fun making it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. So till then, peace out and three thumbs up. See ya.